Good morning. Bon dia. <clears throat> Very good morning to all of you. My name is Mathieu Lefebvre. I am the executive director of the New Cities Foundation, organizers of the New City Summit. Welcome to this edition of the New City Summit in the great city of Sao Paulo. The New Cities Foundation team and I are delighted that you are here for what we think is the most exciting conversation on the world, on the future of the world cities. Before we get started, and we welcome John Rassant, our chairman, I wanted to quickly share with you a few points of information about the summit to help you make, to help make your stay here more inspiring, productive, and enjoyable. The first point is about our program. You should all have received this morning a copy of the program. We're delighted that more than 90 speakers from 20 countries make up the program for the next two days. We think this is the very best program on this topic anywhere, and I encourage you to take part in as many sessions as possible. As is usual, there have been some last minute changes, flights missed, and so on. So I encourage you to check our website, which is newcitysummit2013.org, for the most up-to-date version of the program. I invite those of you who have also not yet done so to register for our site visits, which will take place on Thursday morning and which are organized by our partners at the City of Sao Paulo. These will be a great opportunity for you to visit some of the uh, very pioneering projects that the city is, is leading. If you need more information about the site visits, that will be available to you at the registration desk in OCA. There are two venues, two buildings we are using for this year's summit. The OCA Pavilion, across the way, where you got your badge this morning, and the Auditorio, which is this building where we are this morning. These buildings frame the career of the great Brazilian architect Oscar Niemeyer. The OCA was designed in the 1950s, and this building in 2005. All of the plenary sessions, our larger sessions, will take place here in this magnificent room. And all of the coffee breaks, lunches, networking will take place in OCA, as well as the breakout sessions. Please look in your programs to see what building and what room each of your sessions are in. And please plan a couple of minutes to cross the beautiful stretch of park between the two minutes so that we can start the sessions on time. The working language of the New City Summit, uh, as is the case every year, is English. But translation will be provided to and from Portuguese in most sessions. Please also look at your programs, which clearly indicate which language will be used. I want to draw your attention to the App My City Prize. Uh, the final will take place tomorrow. This is an international app competition um, that we've run. We had 98 candidates from all over the world. We've selected three. They come from Brazil, Israel, and the United States, and they will present their app right here on stage, and you will vote for the winner. So I invite you to take part in that, which will be tomorrow. Sao Paulo is a fantastic food city. We were just talking about this with Mayor Haddad. The diversity of its peoples is reflected in the great food that's available everywhere in the city. In celebration of this diversity and of our theme for this year, the human city, we have assembled a great street food festival, um, which will take place at Oka for your lunches and breaks. So I invite you to join us for that. Finally, about communicating and networking. The summit is on Twitter, and our handle and hashtag are in your program. But the hashtag we are using for this year's summit is hashtag NCS2013. So I invite you to join the conversation and tweet in any language you'd like about what you're hearing and seeing in the next two days. We have a fantastic online networking tool called Presdo Match that allows you to connect and remain in contact with people who are in this room. The New City Summit is about inspiring ideas and making connections among people. So I encourage you to meet as many people as you can during the, the next three days. These connections are really the life of the New Cities Foundation, so please take part. Finally, the Wi-Fi code 
for this room, this building, and the next building is lower caps NCS 2013 SP. And if you didn't uh, remember that, you can ask at registration. Thank you all very much again for joining us and enjoy the human city. And now it's my great pleasure to call up onto the stage the New Cities Foundation Chairman, John Rossant, who will officially open the New Cities Summit 2013. Thank you. Bon dia, and thank you, Mathieu. It's really great to be here in uh, Sao Paulo. Mayor Haddad, honorable mayors, your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, good morning. And uh, I'm so delighted to welcome you to uh, this edition of the New City Summit, which gathers together current and emerging leaders uh, who are shaping the future of cities around the world. It is a real pleasure and an honor for the New Cities Foundation <clears throat> that this summit is taking place in the heart of Sao Paulo, the great city of Sao Paulo. We could not have chosen a better place to have this uh, conference. Sao Paulo is one of the most uh, diverse, dynamic, and creative cities in the world, and it epitomizes the great opportunities as well as the very huge challenges presented by rapid global urbanization. On a global level, I believe that this is Brazil's and Sao Paulo's moment. And much of Brazil's future success will depend on its cities and on this wonderful city in particular. <clears throat> the discussions we will be having over the next couple of days are important, are vitally important. You are all aware that the urban population of planet Earth is increasing by one million people every week. By the year 2030, there will be five billion people living in cities around the world, 60% of the world's population. This is the core preoccupation of the New Cities Foundation and of the New Cities Summit. We are an international nonprofit organization based in Switzerland, and our mission is to contribute to creating more dynamic, more just, more dynamic, and sustainable and creative cities all around the world. The New Cities Foundation deeply believes, as I think and hope all of you do as well, that this century will be largely determined by what happens in our cities. And this is particularly true in Brazil. We must get cities right. Without a doubt, we are witnessing a shift in power and weight away from national and international back to the local level. Take the environment, for, inter, for instance. Tomorrow is uh, World Environment Day, June 5th. National governments make pledges at international summits, but it is cities and metropolitan areas which are going to implement those pledges. The same is true for the economic context in which we live. And this now is a source of major concern in, in Europe, but also here in Brazil. It is cities like Sao Paulo here Porto Alegre, Rotterdam, Singapore, Santiago, and Dallas, all of whom are present here at the summit, by the way. These cities create jobs, they create jo uh, growth, and they foster innovation. Jobs, economic growth, innovation, these are all focused in cities. And we must make sure that urban centers can continue to be drivers of economic growth and prosperity for all. As you will see over the next couple of days, the summit represents our firm belief in innovation and in partnership across all sectors. The human city is the overall theme of this year's summit. In this century of urban growth, it's imperative to put people back at the center of our thinking on all urban issues. So our aim at this summit is to inspire each one of you to contribute to your own city and to the global urban future which we face, and to build bridges among the public, private, research, and nonprofit sectors. I call upon each one of you to make the most out of this summit so that in turn you can contribute to creating better, 
and more vibrant environments in the cities where you live and in the organizations uh, within, within which you work. This summit could not have been possible without the enormous help and assistance of the city of Sao Paulo, and particularly of Mayor Haddad and his team, including Secretary Barchini and Secretary Cruz. Obrigado. I also want to deeply thank our members, our summit partners, our media partners, and also our founding members, GE, Cisco, and Ericsson, whose support for the foundation has been absolutely exceptional. I would also like to thank the foundation's wonderful board of directors, board of trustees, most of whom are here today and have come great distances to be here. Finally, I want to thank all of you for joining us here. Close to 800 people from 34 countries have registered for the summit. You are the greatest proof that this discussion is needed and alive. And I wish you all a great two days. And now it's my very, very great pleasure, indeed, to welcome my friend, His Excellency Fernando Haddad, Mayor of the great city of Sao Paulo. Please.